All right, guys, I think it's recording. So in this video, I'm trying to, well, hopefully trying to explain how you can make a compass. Um, this method's been around thousands of years, I think. Um, the ancient Chinese sort of used it to work out their alignment of, of graves more than anything. That was for their feng shui. That's what they thought was important. The Vikings probably used it to cross to England. Um, so all you need, and I'll just pan down so you can see, is a needle. Hopefully you can grab from home. Something that floats. And basically a small container that will hold water. So I've got this cup here. So, oh, and a magnet, which is also important. So here I've got a magnet that I could find in the house. Now... It's important to magnetise your needle, but you only do it in the one direction. So I'm starting at the eye, moving down to the other end of the needle. And, and I've experimented a bit, and the eye of the needle is always going to point north, with a few exceptions that we'll get to in a minute. Now, for this bit, please be careful. I've got a set of pliers. I'll grab my needle and stick it through my bit of cork. Just be careful that you don't have any mishaps with that. So when it's about halfway through, that should be good. Got this little bit of daffodil here I'll just put on it to hopefully make it a bit clearer which way it's spinning around. So that should point south. Now it's important that you move away all other metal things because that interferes with it quite a lot. Just pan down a bit more. Hopefully the eye of our needle should face north. And there we go. I've got a compass on my phone here, so I'll just show you that, that is working. But the phone itself will interfere. Back to north. And here on the phone, you can see that that should correspond with north too. I hope that clears it up. So your task is to make one of them, take a photo of it, and tell me how you went. Um, have a good day.